Is it true that diet can affect the taste of sexual fluids? What are the most common myths about sexuality in adolescents? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Diet can affect the taste of sexual fluids. Foods like fruits can make them sweeter, while spicy foods or garlic can have a stronger impact. Hydration and a balanced diet are also important. In adolescence, it is common to believe that abstinence is the only effective option and that masturbation is harmful. Additionally, there is a tendency to think that contraception is only necessary to prevent pregnancies. These myths underscore the importance of comprehensive sexual education that provides accurate information and promotes a healthy and safe understanding of sexuality at this stage. Famous personalities and brands. Some celebrities and personalities have ventured into the world of sex toys, launching their own product lines or collaborating with renowned brands to create exclusive designs. Fantasy exploration. Foreplay provides a safe space for women to explore their deepest sexual fantasies and share them with their partners, which can increase excitement and intimacy in the relationship. Feather fetishism involves sexual attraction to the use of feathers in erotic activities, such as feather tickling, gentle caresses, or erotic tickling. Female masturbation. Although historically taboo, Female masturbation is a common and healthy practice that can help women explore their bodies and experience sexual pleasure. Female orgasms in an hour. Worldwide, the record for female orgasms in an hour was set at 134 orgasms in a scientific study. In comparison, during the same period, men reached a maximum of 16 orgasms. This fact highlights the complexity and variability of sexual responses between genders. Fetishism in art. Throughout art history, sexual fetishes have been represented in various forms, from Renaissance paintings to contemporary works. This reflects how human sexuality and desires have been topics of interest over time. Focus on consent. Although written centuries ago, the Kama Sutra emphasizes the importance of mutual consent and respect for personal boundaries, reflecting modern values regarding sexual ethics and informed consent. Focus on freedom. Open relationships often focus on promoting individual freedom and autonomy, allowing people to explore their sexuality more broadly. Food fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by incorporating food into their sexual activities. This can include playing with food, using food during oral sex, or even participating in food play, where food is used in an erotic manner. Foreplay time. Although there is no set time limit, some studies suggest that women may need at least 20 minutes of foreplay to reach an optimal level of sexual arousal and vaginal lubrication. Gender diversity. Sexuality is closely related to gender identity, which is not limited simply to male and female, but also includes non-binary and transgender identities. Generosity. Being generous and willing to help others can be a very attractive quality. Genital herpes is a chronic and recurrent viral infection caused by the herpes simplex virus, HSV. It has no cure, but antiviral medications can help reduce the frequency and severity of outbreaks. Glasses fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal towards the use of glasses, whether on themselves or their partner, finding glasses aesthetically appealing or associating glasses with intelligence and sexual attractiveness. Group sex fantasies. Group sex fantasies involve sexual encounters with multiple people at the same time, whether in threesomes, orgies, or gangbangs. These fantasies can be explored through imagination or consensually in real life. Guide to Self-Pleasure In addition to partner relationships, the Kama Sutra also offers advice and techniques for exploring self-pleasure and individual pleasure, which can help people improve their relationship with their own body and sexuality. 
Half-man, half-woman hermaphroditism is a condition in which a person is born with both male and female physical characteristics. While uncommon, it sheds light on the diversity of human biology. Health and well-being. Orgasms have health benefits, such as stress reduction, strengthening the immune system, releasing endorphins, happiness hormones, and relieving pain. They can also improve sleep quality. Health benefits. Foreplay not only increases sexual arousal, but can also have physical and emotional health benefits for women, such as stress reduction, mood improvement, and strengthening emotional bonds with the partner. Height disparities. Height differences between partners can influence which sexual positions are most comfortable and effective, with taller partners often needing to adjust their positioning to accommodate their shorter counterparts. Higher HIV prevalence. Although advancements have been made in HIV treatment, the disease remains a global concern. An estimated 38 million people are living with HIV worldwide. Historical cultural fetishes. Throughout history, different cultures have had specific fetishes. For example, in ancient Greece, the beauty of young men and love between young and adult men, known as pederasty, was valued. Historical stigma. Throughout history, female masturbation has often been stigmatized and considered shameful or inappropriate. However, it is increasingly recognized as a normal and healthy practice. Holding positions. Other women may find pleasure in positions that involve some degree of holding or restraint, such as soft bondage, as long as it is practiced safely and consensually. Hormonal effect on desire. Sex hormones, such as testosterone and estrogen, play a key role in sexual desire. Changes in hormonal levels can affect libido. Humility. Humility and the ability to admit mistakes and learn from them are attractive traits. Hypoactive sexual desire is a condition in which a person has chronically low sexual desire. It may be due to physical, emotional factors, or a combination of both, and is often addressed with sexual therapy. Impact of menopause on sexuality. Menopause can cause physical and hormonal changes that affect libido and sexual function in women, although many find ways to maintain a satisfying sex life as they age. Impact on relationship. Anorgasmia can have a significant impact on the romantic relationship as it may lead to frustration, discomfort, and feelings of sexual dissatisfaction in both partners. Impact on relationships. Premature ejaculation can have a significant impact on intimate relationships, causing stress, frustration, and resentment in the partner if not properly addressed. Impact on self-esteem. Anorgasmia can have a negative impact on self-esteem and self-confidence, especially if the individual feels embarrassed or guilty for not being able to achieve orgasm. Impact on sexuality. Pornography can have an impact on people's perception of sexuality, influencing their preferences, fantasies, and sexual expectations. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,